here we have one 28 ounce can of stewed tomatoes a heaping teaspoon of diced garlic salt and pepper here we are rehydrating two chile anchos and three chile guajillo once the chilies are rehydrated they're placed in the tomato sauce in the blender and blended together blended once blended you'll have a nice thick mixture and we're going to run it through a strainer to get out all the skins from the chilies and the tomatoes here's the straining process and we'll use a spoon to push the mole down and some of the water from the rehydration of the chilies to help it through in order to get a nice smooth sauce mole this is why we strain this is all the fiber coming from the tomatoes and the chili now this is just the first scoop we're going to be doing three more like this this is my smooth mole sauce and this is all the fiber that was taken out of it okay we're going to heat up our frying pan once it's heated then we'll add our oil now you always want to heat the pan first then put your oil in and you'd be amazed how it'll work like a non-stick pan once our oil is hot enough we will start to fry our tortilla approximately 10 seconds on each side And as we're doing this, we'll be stacking them on a plate. Once I've got maybe a half dozen or so, I'll start assembly. Now for the lack of a better term, we're going to fry our mole just a little bit in some oil. Let that cook a little. And then we'll start our assembly. Okay, we'll start assembly by dipping the fried tortilla in the mole sauce. To plate this, we put a little extra sauce, mole, on top. And then I like laying my sour cream down first. spread it out a little garnish with a little tomato some radish and some finely chopped lettuce and that is the authentic Jalisco style enchilada. Bon appetit.